Hey there, I'm Venkatesh. I'm from Pehua Secondary School, and this is my first time participating in Robo Cup. The preliminary challenge was to collect all the colored gems scattered around the map and deposit it into a deposit area. One of the biggest challenges I had faced was getting the robot to go into the deposit area more frequently, as most of the spots where the where my robot approaches the deposit was blocked by grass and because of that, it was harder for my robot to deposit more frequently. To combat this, I had created invisible borders around the areas where the deposit boxes are, so that the robot will stay in there for a longer period of time and it will um, wander around in that area and then it will eventually go into the deposit box and this will increase the number of times it goes into the deposit box and now it can easily deposit stuff. How I created the borders using coordinates was um, I took the coordinate that the deposit was in and made it so that it would treat the rest of the coordinates beside it as walls. How I did this is like for example let's take position x0 and position y0 for example. When the robot reaches position x which is equivalent to 0 and position y equal to 1, it will turn around and then it will face towards position x0 and position y0 and then it will move towards them. And the same for when it becomes position x1 and position xy which is equal to 0. And then it will move to 0, 0 and thus it will wander around in position x0 and position y0 and eventually it will go into the deposit box that way. In the Aiku challenge, the robot is collecting gems which can represent people in need of help 
or supply drops in warfare where it can be too dangerous for humans to go and collect. The IQ challenge simulates how you can program robots that are versatile. This can be very important and useful for rescuing people in need of help or reaching areas where it can be dangerous for humans to go to. I think that one of the most important things for these types of robots to do is to be efficient with their surroundings. Being versatile is also important so that we can quickly get the robot to be suitable for a f specific environment. How we get it's like how we get a random map in the finals warm up and even uh prelims and that would make us create more code to take advantage of the surroundings so that we can get more points and this can also be applied to real life rescue robots and these are the things that i have learned from co space rescue so far that can be applied to the real world